When you go to step five, you'll see this um, pop-up box will come in. It'll give you an opportunity to look at more tutorials or just take you right to building your website. You can just click on the build your website and it will take you right out to the page. Now WYSIWYG means what you see is what you get. Um, it's basically showing you the design of your website. Now I had gone in and I did not check that I wanted this cleared off so what I'm going to have to do is go into my source or HTML coding in order to erase some of this stuff because I want to build my own um, tables and have my own customization for the page. So I'm just simply going to go in and I highlight it all and then I'm just going to hit delete on my keyboard. And a lot of people go, oh, when I do that. <laughs> It's just something within us, you know, we always feel like, oh gosh, shouldn't do that. And I'm going to choose this tool here. Um, this is called the layout template. Let me go through each of these tools for you uh, one by one. This is full window, so if I click on that, it will give me a bigger size um, for my window so I can see better about what I'm doing. Um, these spy glasses are find and replace. Let's say I wanted to replace Sarah Spencer Solutions with Vermont Virtual Assistant every time it was mentioned. That is what that tool is for. Um, cut, the scissors would be basically cut and paste. If you're familiar with um, Word products or Excel spreadsheets, you're very familiar with cut, copy, and pasting tools. Um, this other one, pasting from an external source such as Word, be careful of this tool. Um, I'm sure it's improved over time, but sometimes I find that um, it doesn't always translate very well and can get a little wonky if you're copying straight from a Word document. So if you are copying straight from Word, use that tool. What I like to do is I like to go in and use a notepad. Um, that seems to get me through the night. This tool is undo, the one next to it, redo. So if I make a mistake or I want to redo something, I can. I can insert tables with this next tool. Um, if you've ever worked with tables in Word, um, this will be very familiar to you. You can also insert pictures and insert video, which has been huge for my Got Clicks business because people want to see what the video is all about. Um, it was one of the biggest boosters for Got Clicks being able to have this tool. This is just simply inserting a horizontal line. This tool with the globe and the chain, this is um, inserting or editing hyperlinks. So if I wanted to link to another website, I would just simply, I could either put a picture and click this hyperlink tool. I can break the tool, um, remove the hyperlink, I should say. I'll teach you that in upcoming classes. I'm just introducing all the tools to you for now. Um, you can put bookmarks in this. Um, special characters, if you had a trademark you wanted to put in, you could certainly do that. Um, this is for an online form. Maybe I wanted to have people sign up to win something, uh, maybe win a video or a service. I could use this online form. That's how your databases would come into play as well. Um, you can also put in an online counter. I don't necessarily recommend this. I look, think it looks a little amateur, to be honest with you. You can get much better statistics with Google Analytics and keep them private. Flash. Um, yes, you can use the online Flash. I just haven't found it to be really um, a robust tool, but it's certainly available for you. The layout tool we're going to get into in a sec. Um, this tool shows hidden elements. That's basically the framework of your page, showing you where your tables start and end. Um, this last one is giving you, it's a video on help for WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. Styles, font, size, this should all be familiar to you if you've used word products, bold, italic, underline. Um, these are available too. If I click this arrow, it'll tell me superscript, subscript, and strike through. Um, changing my font color, highlighting a, a line of text, my alignment bars are all here, um, direction left to right, I can do that with my paragraphs to adjust those. You might be familiar with that again if you've used Word products. These are all bullets and lastly is indenting or decreasing the indent of your paragraph. So now that we've gone through what the tools are all about, let's work exclusively with the layout template coming up next.